Hi hey everyone, PV here and welcome to this week's YouTube video. In this week's video, we're going to play Standard 2022. So that is a format that, for those who aren't aware, uh, is basically standard without the cards that are going to rotate in the next set. So it gives you a preview of what the next format is going to look like. And it excludes a lot of the cards that are very, very good and key to the current standard. So it really is very different. For example, you don't have Original Tomatoes anymore. You don't have Lustric Beast, Edro Inkeeper, Winota. Uh, the, into the story, down in the lock and stuff like that. So basically, um, a lot of the centerpieces of the current best standard decks are not available, which means that you get an entirely new format, a fresh format. Uh, and obviously, this is not exactly what the format is going to look like, because there is going to be a new set, right? And there are a couple of cards that are already quite good, uh, spoiled from the new set, Midnight Hunt. Uh, so it is going to be a little bit different, but it is, you know, a breath of fresh air uh, from, from standard. If you've been uh, stuck with standard, it's been very similar for a very long time. So if you want to play something different, and if you want to have a general idea of what the format is going to look like, again, obviously not, uh, you know, very reliable, but it does give you one idea of how certain decks behave, then standard 2022 is a good choice for you. And what we're going to do today is similar to what we did uh, the last two times. We're going to explain a little bit about the deck, and then we're going to play a couple of matches. Uh, the difference is that now I'm not going to play on ladder. I'm going to play against uh, a sub from my channel. So in case you don't know, I have a Patreon, uh, and it's patreon.com slash pvddr. And there you can support my channel and get some access to some extra perks on top of it. One of the perks is access to a Discord server, uh, rather a Discord channel, exclusively for the subs. So there, you know, I, I post some updates about how my tournaments have been going, what I would play in future tournaments. Uh, and then what I'm, I'm going to start to do is to find some opponents there. So uh, I'm going to play versus a sub uh, and they're not going to record, they're not going to do anything. They're just going to provide the opposition for this video. So uh, we're going to get a more uh, reliable experience. We're not going to just join a queue and then hope to, to play against someone with a representative deck. And the deck that I'm playing is a deck that I've already written a little bit about, I've already talked about in the video when I mentioned, you know, uh, 2022 decks to pay attention to. And that is Mardu Sacrifice, or Mardu Treasures, Mardu Tokens, Mardu Dragons, whatever you want to call it. It's a Mardu deck uh, with Sacrifice mechanics and Treasure mechanics. Now this is a deck that has existed in Standard in a different form, right? In Standard, it, it is a lot more about sacrificing. Uh, you have, and you have stuff like Claim the Firstborn, right? So you combo Claim the Firstborn with Village Rights, uh, in the Akron War, so you steal your opponent's creatures and then you get to sacrifice them for value. Now, you know, Wolf Strider and stuff like that are, are playable too. Uh, in Standard 2022, you're not stealing anyone's creatures. You know, there are ways to do that, but they're worse and more expensive. Nothing as efficient as Team the First Born or as good as the Akron War. So instead, you focus more on your own gameplay, right? You have uh, the treasure makers like Shambling Ghast and Deadly Dispute and the Kalang Reclusive Painter, and then you're trying to accelerate into Goldspan Dragon. Uh, right, and the showdown of the scouts uh, fuels you a little bit more, so it's a bit of a different take on the deck, uh, and which is you know both good and bad. Uh, it is bad because you now have less interaction, right? There are not that many ways to kill creatures in this deck. It is more of a, a goldfish deck, uh, but it is better because you're not as reliant on your opponent having creatures. One of the issues with the deck before in standard was that if you played against someone who had little to no creatures. Uh, you had all these dead cards in your hand, and now you're not going to have that. So in, in, in some ways, it's uh, a better thing, in some ways, it's worse. But obviously, I would expect every single deck to be worse in Standard 2022, right? As I said, a lot of the best cards in the format are no longer legal. So the fact that this is worse than a Standard deck shouldn't deter you from playing it. It is important to note that this is a best-of-one deck, because that is the only way you can currently play Standard 2022 on Magic Arena. Uh, so, which is a good thing for this deck because it has the learn mechanic, right? You have Eye Twitch and you have Hunt for Specimen, uh, Specimens, which give you access to your sideboard. And the sideboard cards are actually quite good in this deck. Uh, you know, past summoning makes two one ones, uh, but you a lot of the time you are just interested in having more creatures because you have, you know, the, the Awakened Blood Avatar, for example, which lets you sacrifice a bunch of stuff, right? So it is good to have extra creatures. Um, the Necrotic Fumes let you interact with something, you have a lot of creatures you don't mind exiling. Unfortunately, uh, it is exile and not sacrifice, so it doesn't work with all your synergies, uh, but it is still very good to have access to this. Uh, and then start from scratch, environmental sciences for specific situations, uh, and the mascot exhibition if you have a lot of mana, which is quite common in this deck because you have so many treasures. 
so having access to your sideboard is a pretty good thing in best of one. Uh, right? In, obviously, if this was best of three, then you'd need more of a real sideboard. You'd still play the learn cards. You know, I still did in standard when I played this deck. Uh, but your sideboard is compromised a little bit. Right? So here you get all the benefits of it with none of the downsides. So that's a pretty good thing. All right, so let's get going. I'm not sure what they're playing exactly. I think an aggro deck, uh, either mono green or mono white. Uh, this hand is okay. They go first. Uh, it's not a great hand, but I think we can try it out. Like it doesn't really have, you know, the super cohesive plan, has a bunch of gold spirit dragons that are gonna take a while to cast, but I do have, you know, some blockers and stuff. Guess we can lead with the eye twitch. Let me see. If I lead with eye twitch, then hmm. On turn two, I'm gonna play hunt for specimen. On turn three, I might play whatever I get off of hunt for specimen, which means that I won't have time to play the shambling gas before turn four. Like ideally, I wanted to die on turn three so that I can play a dragon on turn four. So I think the best plan is to just play a Shambling Ghast here. Because I think the curve just doesn't work out very well uh, if I play the Eye Twitch first. Because there's no room. Well, obviously, it might not die on turn three, but... You know, if my opponent is not attacking me at all, then... It, it might also die and I, I might, like, shoot it down, but... Okay, this was a pretty good draw. Now, if it does die, I'll just play a Gold Spine Dragon. Could also play a 2 2 Eye Twitch, but that does not seem good. Yeah, I don't think I want to attack. I think I just want to sit back. I guess I could have attacked if they blocked with Innkeeper. I could just make a trap here that would be very good for me. Okay. This is a, this is okay. The, the job here is done, basically. The big question is, do I want to block? If I block, I can make a treasure. I think I do want to block and just play a Goldspun Dragon. Obviously, I'm not killing this because it's indestructible, right? But like, I think the the sooner, like, I have nothing really else to do that's actually good. So the sooner I get this gold spend dragons online, the better. Like, I can even attack and just play hunt for a specimen here. Though I'm not entirely sure what I would even get here. Maybe I should just pass. The problem is that if I make a 1-1, one, one, I actually s sort of stop two blockers. Sorry, two attackers. So I think I should just make this 1-1. One, one. I don't know what I want. I guess I want the jump blockers. I don't feel like I need to kill anything. I'm just gonna get this. Like, I'm trying to win this game in the air. Right? And obviously, if they... You know, if they try to kill my dragon, so they have another Blizzard Brawl, they can kill the dragon with the name. I can just... I, I get a treasure again, so I can just sack it. But three damage? I'm not, I'm not gonna block three damage. I think I'm fine with three damage here. I could have not... Yeah, the, the thing is, if I had not sacked, I would have this another dragon next turn. I could I could also pick the one damage to a thing. I 
think I'm just gonna play the dragon here. Yeah, I did I did miss out on a dragon attack by making this 1-1. One, one. But I thought I was gonna take a lot of damage. Like I thought I was gonna take five, six, seven. So I just really wanted to be able to, you know, if they had a five five I'd chump block it. If they attack with the two twos, the two on ones, I would block one of those. I think I can just play I Twitch and Goldsman Dragon here. We're so obviously it has haste, so we're ingrained to play pre combat, but I can't play pre combat, so I, and that that doesn't mean I can't play it here, right? I thought it wasn't gonna make that big a difference in the clock as well. Because, you know, they I would attack for four and then eight and then eight again. Uh but now that they have a second innkeeper, it actually could make a difference that I didn't, you know, save my 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 thing. But we'll see. If they attack, I'm probably just gonna block with the eye twitch here. Well, so they're they're gaining a ton of life. But I have a lot of mana next turn. I can just get the mascot exhibition. If they attack, I block with the eye twitch. They can't attack with anything else, realistically. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna block with this. And I'm gonna get the mascot. I could get the thing that destroys an artifact, but. Like, this destroys an artifact. I think I'm just gonna get the exhibition, though. He's getting three tokens. So I can't block him. Oh, that was a good one. So I'm gonna get two treasures. So I have eight mana total. So I can play this, play past summoning, but I don't I don't have I have five black only. So I can play this, play and I don't have white. So I have to use one treasury for double white. Huh. If I play deadly disputing stead. So let's see, I attack, I get two treasures. I have to sack both to play Estes. Then I play Deadly Dispute. I think this works. So black white, play this, play that list, put sack this, I got a treasure, the treasure gives me double black, and I got one thing back. With the thing that I get back, I can play Kalang, which costs zero, because it adds two me. Yeah, I think this is okay. Like, I'll have enough blockers here. And I'll draw two cards too, I could just draw a land at that point, right? I haven't played the land yet. Oh, I can't get a land because it's legendary. I'm stupid. So I guess I'll get Shumbling Ghast. Okay, I drew a bad land. So I guess I just play past summoning here. So I have three blockers. Is there any Mary to playing? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this, I think, right? I'm gonna play this as a land because I think I want the black mana. So now if they can kill my Exodus, I'm somewhat in trouble, right? I still have two blockers, so I'm not gonna die or anything, but I'll take eight. And they'll gain two more life, make an extra token. I'll lose all my stuff. So my master plan didn't really work because this, this doesn't get legends back. So it might, have, it might have been better to just play mascot exhibition here, but... Still, like, this is a pretty good blocker if they can't kill it, right? If, if they can't kill it, then it's a bigger problem. But if they cannot kill it, it's a pretty good blocker, too. Like, it just stops 
the rest of their attacks, right? So if they can't kill this, I feel pretty comfortable in my position here. I think I'm just going to win the game if they can't kill this, because next turn, like, I'll get to play Exhibition and just... Well, I guess I don't return anything, but this stuff will be back. So yeah, if they just attack here, I'm perfectly fine with that. Right, the attack of the chariot. Okay, so here, it might have been better for them to kill the Axis so that they could attack. Like, they, they felt threatened their life total, but I think they have to try to kill me. Like, I can just get this dragon back. You know, like, they're gaining some life of the chariot too. Yeah, I'm gonna block. Like, they know I have a spell. So they know I'll get the dragon back. I have 10 mana next turn. I can't get it back in play, but... So what do I want to do here? Shambling Ast and Deadly, this dude gives me a mana. Right, because this, I, I can make a treasure and I get two things from this. Two mana. And I can get it back, that doesn't matter. So, I mean, now I have 10 damage next turn. So, what I could also do is I could just sack the Shambling Gas to Deadly Dispute and kill an Innkeeper so they don't gain life. Right? Like, if they animate Chariot, then they try to make a token. I can I can play the dispute and kill. Like they'll play a thing first, probably. Right? So they need to I, I have ten damage next turn, right? In, in the flyers. So they have to play two things. Uh then they'll gain four life and they'll go up to twelve. But if I kill an innkeeper, then I have to play three things. Which seems pretty hard. I think I probably should just kill an innkeeper here. I mean I'm not gonna die. I just I got my creature back anyway. So yeah, now I, I I don't want them gaining life, basically. And I think I'm pretty safe. Right? Like, and I'm gonna draw two cards. I have another treasure for whatever that's worth. So now if they have another creature, they can survive. Because I still only have... I, I actually only have 10, but... Like, and they, they have to attack with the chariot to make a token. And then play something else. It has to cost two, at most. They could also kill my my dragon. Like that, that would also stop me from killing them this turn, because I won't have enough. Like I have seven, eight, nine mana. Yeah, I won't have enough to bring it back in. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna block with my four four here. Well, they're attacking me more things. Okay, so I guess... I guess I'm chimping? Like, this can block this. Because now if they have any sort of giant growth effect, even if they wreck me in combat, they die. Right, so it's, it's pretty safe. I could just block here too. So now I'm killing the two twos.
Yeah, it's basically like if they if they beat me in combat, I'm totally fine with that because they die. And if they have a creature, then I I'm happy I killed all this stuff. I could have taken more damage, just attacked with more things too. Like I I guess I could have just taken all the damage and attacked with like not in the air. You know, this is probably enough. I mean I don't know what they can have for two mana, but I doubt it's gonna be too bad. Yeah, they probably really should have just... I, I think their best plan there was kill Extas and try to kill me. Instead of killing the dragon. Because killing the dragon kind of just delayed the inevitable. Like, if Extas is in play, I'm not gonna lose. Right? I have, like, infinite chum blockers and I, my deck has so much churn. So, let's move to game two. Uh, and we we did two best of ones, rather than doing a best of three. Because the algorithm is different. Right, so you have a, a fixed hand, so to speak. Uh, not a fixed hand, but you have a uh, you know, better than normal hand if you play best of one, and I want it to be faithful to what we're actually playing, right? If you play these decks in the queues, you are going to have this algorithm that fixes your hands a little bit. Oh, waiting for server. This is not good. All right. Uh, I think my hand is a keep. I have the Charger in the Dispute. It is kind of awkward if my mana... And my hand's pretty bad. If I draw a Lando, it becomes pretty good because I can just jam one of those. I'm gonna keep it and try it out. You know, I'm up a game anyway. What's the worst? Well, that was about the worst draw that I could have had. I think I'm just gonna play the Fireblade Charger here. We managed to play a Fireblade Charger. Yeah, because this app is the, the biggest upside, right? If I draw a land, I can... I can just play the Dispute here. Well, not that land. It might have been an ambitious keep. It did. I didn't feel like you needed that much, you know. But even if I do draw a land, it's not that great. I did get super punished by by drawing like exactly this, which is probably one of the worst cards to draw. Oh, well, this is pretty bad for me too. I guess I would shoot them. But it could have been a Ghost Spin Dragon or other showdown, like or any number of cards that I can't play. Okay, so am I just dead here? <laughs> yeah, this is another card that I could have drawn that wasn't good. So I was basically looking for a land here, there, and given that I I, I bricked. I even drew a land; it just wasn't the right color. Like, if this was a black land, this game is totally different, right? Because I can respond to this. Like, they might not even play this Blizzard Brawl if I have black mana up. So now I can't even play extras because I don't have the right colors. Alright, so I can cast no spells. So I'm pretty dead. Yeah, I mean, this is just performative at this point. I don't think there's anything that gets me remotely back in the game. Yeah, so I think I probably should not have kept that. It was sort of speculative hand that didn't pan out for sure, right? I, I think I drew, you know, on the the low end of things for sure. Uh, but it's still, there were too many misses, I think. I was only looking for a couple of very specific things. And my hand was not even that good if I hit. Right, it's, it's easy to look at your hand and think, well, I'm just going to play Deadly Dispute and that's going to fix everything because I'm going to draw two cards and, you know, all the cards that I need are going to be on top. Uh, but I think that was sort of wishful thinking. So I guess we got a pretty fast game too. And yeah, I, I was definitely punished for my mistake there, I think. I should not have kept that hand. But also I think there there is there was some merit for my opponent uh, who decided to kill my goblin. Which is a play that people won't always make, I think. Uh, and if they don't Blizzard Brawl my, my Goblin that turn, the game is totally different. Right? I'll probably still lose because I, I didn't have a land in the next couple of cards. But it, it definitely definitely made a difference there, I think. 
I'm just gonna keep this. I'm gonna play this for black. Uh, I do, I do need black mana for for the extras, so I don't feel bad. No, it's looking like it might look like a, a an Awakened of Blood Outer game. I need double red, but I feel confident in my ability to find double red. So I'm just gonna play Eye Twitch on turn one, then on turn two I'll play the Malachi Rebirth and the Eye Twitch again, and start the beatdown. And try to try to close out the game with you know my my haste creatures. Oh no, the beat down, <laughs> the, the beat down is is gone. That card is sneakily has reach, so I cannot attack into it. I mean, I could if I wanted to learn, but I don't think I'm really that desperate for that just yet. Now let's see what they do. So now we might have to revert. Obviously, we don't know what's happening yet. Like, I, I have a hand that can grind or that can try to kill the opponent quickly, depending on how things go. Now, that is a m very unconventional play. Do I just want environmental sciences? I think I do. I, I can get points. I could loot, but I think this is better. Now, they can't really attack because I'll, I'll block. Right, their, their thing has one damage on it. Yeah, it is pretty unlikely that this was right at this point, I have to say. Um, like, they, they're not in a rush to kill my thing, and this can be pretty valuable because I have some very important cards in my deck, like the Dragon and the Exes that this will kill later in the game. So I'm just gonna play this and get blanks. Wait, I don't have a planes in my deck? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. There's an... My stupidity is indescribable. Oh my god. You see, I played... Standard 2022 a while ago. And I haven't really touched it since. Because I've mostly been writing about historic and standard. Uh, and my friends are just testing historic and standard. So it's been a while since I've played this. But this is pretty embarrassing. I completely forgot I didn't have a point. Um, so what do I want to get here? I mean, I have red red now. So I might as well just get black. I think I, I'm more pigeonholed on black. But then the, the reality is that I should not have gotten the environmental sciences to begin with. I mean, I still wanted another land. You know, I, I, I want a red anyway, I think. Right, because I have the dragon uh, and I have the Awakened Blood Avatar at some point. But this definitely puts the, an emperor on what I, I'm supposed to be doing. Because if I don't draw a, a white land, I have no plays next turn. Right, so I have to draw something. Either a white land or, or a card that I can play. And this isn't it. I mean, I think I should just play this. I mean, I'm going to attack and play this and see what I draw. And I'll probably loot. Because I just really want to find something. I guess I could get, like, the Destroy an Artifact card. Which I can cast because I'm getting a treasure. That might be the best. I could have waited. Um, it is a sorcery though, so that's it's pretty awkward. But I think I think it's the best. Okay, I drew white mana. Is this too late? If I don't cast this, I can cast Dragon next turn and Exodus. But that doesn't feel like it's enough. I think I might have to kill this. But they have so much damage in play already. Like, that thing doesn't even do more damage, it just does the same amount of damage. Like, it deals more damage the following turn. But if they play a 4-4, then it's going to do a lot more damage. Yeah, I have to kill it, I think. I'm pretty dead here, I think. Like, basically skipping this turn, because this is what happened, right? I skipped this turn. Because I didn't have white mana in my deck. And I thought I did. So I could have just had like two tokens in play or something. 
that I could have sacked to play. You know, if my turn three is an environmental sciences, if we just make two tokens, then this turn I could cast the, the Awaken the Blood Avatar, which would at least be a blocker. Okay, so now they get to activate Ranger class. I take six, their thing gets bigger. Ah, it's a problem. It is a problem. I have a 22. So what is my plan here? Do I even want to attack? Oh, I played... Oh, I, I meant to play this for white. That was literally just a misclick. It was supposed to be for white. I could play Extus and Shumbling Gast because Extus blocks just fine. Or I could play Dragon and attack. I think I'm supposed to play it. I think I'm supposed to play this. Like next turn I can go Goldspin Dragon and Showdown. Also if I draw spells, I can just like change some stuff. Right, I have cheap creatures in my graveyard. And there will be the Shambling Gas, the Shambling Gas might die. And then I can use it to kill something. Okay, so they can get a 4-4 attacker here. Or two three threes. But four fours. Four four seems better. So I get to block. And make a treasure, I guess. Is that my best bet? Then then I will be able to play Gold Span into Showdown, if that's the case. Okay, how do I... What do I do here? Well, they're attacking with everything. Okay, that... this... I mean, they do more damage, they do lose a creature. So they're losing a creature for 4 damage. It's not the worst plan, I guess. Maybe it is worth losing a creature for 4 damage, yeah. That, that actually seems okay. Like, they have so many creatures. So I make a treasure. Now I can attack with the extras, though. It's a 4 damage. Ooh, that was a great draw. Okay, so... Now I have two options, right? I can play dragon, play this and stuff. Or I can just play this. So if I play Dragon, I play Mountain, play Dragon, I attack, I have five mana. I can play Hunt for a Specimen. Get the make two tokens. Play Shumbling Ghast. Or just make two tokens. In, in, in reality, this is probably better. If I don't play Gold Spend Dragon, what do I do? I play Hunt for a Specimen, then I have five mana left. Then I can play the make two tokens, and I can get two creatures back. So I have two extra blockers, if I do it this way, because I have two more mana. But that doesn't seem right, I shouldn't have two more mana. What am I doing wrong? Because gold spend dragon costs three, but I have a treasure, so it costs two. Oh yeah, it's so two more mana, yeah, that's right. So that's two more mana, there's two creatures that I can play, that I couldn't play otherwise. But do I need this many creatures? Like maybe if I have three chump blockers, that's already good enough, right? And like I get this dragon going. This seems right to me. I think I can even attack with the extras here. Like I have three blockers. But if they kill one... Mm -hmm. They will be the ones that I gain life if they die. For the most yeah there'll be three of those so if they kill one i'll gain one i'll go to 13. like they'll have a two four fours attacking maybe three four fours a block block 
I think I can attack with both. Maybe attacking with both was a mistake. Maybe I should just try to play as low. Because leaving this back to block, like, kills a token, and I don't take damage, and it might, like, make the attacks very different. And what are they gonna get? They also have the lessons stuff. Okay, this is not gonna be too bad. Two counters and vigilance. It is gonna make something more threatening, yeah. Like, this has trample. I should not have attacked with this. I think that was a mistake. Yeah, I, I really should not have. That was, that was greedy for no reason. So this has to block this. Yeah, I guess I could just block block. I will like yeah, they they have the sentinel to to block as well. Alright, this blocks gold span. So let's play this and see where we're at. Probably don't want to tap I wanna probably wanna leave double more. Yeah, that was a really greedy play. Okay, those are good hits. Like, I get to play everything and basically guarantee... I could have attacked first, I guess. And not show them the showdown, but... So now I have a lot of blockers, and I have lethal next turn, but they do have the sentinel, but two shambling guests will die in combat, so I can actually kill the sentinel, maybe, or like a shambling guest and a charger, like some combination of creatures will die, right, for sure, so I can kill the sentinel, and if the eye twitch dies, I get a spell. And a spell lets me kill the sentinel as well. The I got the noxious fume, so as long as I have as long as I have something else. So if only like say they pump the sentinel and don't attack with it, so that they are you know, oh I guess they can attack with it because it has vigilance. But if they attack with it, I can block and kill it in combat. So there's they're in a pretty tricky spot here, I think. I think here I'm 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 probably gonna win. But, like, they can't have a 9 power Trampler. Ooh, another Sentinel. Okay. So now, now I can't actually... So they maybe I won't win because they can have a 9 power Trampler here. So I block with everything? Maybe? Not the Extus? Like, the, the Charger and the White Twitch and the Twitch and Lingus? So I, but I can only cast one spell pre-combat. So they have Blizzard Brawl here? That would be a problem. That would be a big problem. Yeah, this having Trample is super annoying. I got a warden if I tried to kill it. So I'm gonna block a bunch of things. 
So So now how do I win? I want to keep a creature alive, the extras. And I want to kill. I want to get the card to kill something. And shoot down a sentinel. And I guess make a treasure? I don't have to make a treasure. So I don't have to block with this shambling vest as well. The Fireblade Charger could also shoot them. They go down to six. So, but I, I won't have enough cards to make both dragon sixes. I can make one dragon a six. Why did they kill something? To kill a dragon, but then I can make the dragon a six. I think I'm just gonna block and make a treasure. I don't know what's right to do here. All right, blocks. Oh, I guess the X looks like they blocked a three three. It didn't have to block a two two. So now that I have nothing, I win. What can they even have? This is free, right? Now I even get the I get this to be a six is from the treasures. <laughs> So now if they have one answer, I still win, right? All right, yeah, okay, that was interesting. This game was pretty interesting. So, not sure what could have gone very differently. Other than, well, my mistake, my my play game, game turn two, assuming I had a planes, was pretty rough. So I should not have done that. I might have made the same play if I thought about it more, because I wanted another land anyway. But they just curved so badly, I think in all likelihood I would have just gotten the thing that makes two tokens, so that I could have a play on turn four, which was Awakening Blood after. So I think that was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. Well, obviously, it's the kind of play that you can make if you're cautious about it. If you're like, well, I know there's no planes, but I still want this, then that's fine. But I didn't know when I made the play. And I think, in retrospect, I would not have made it had I known. But other than that, I think my opponent actually played pretty well. Uh, they were losing creatures to do damage, which I think was correct from their point of view. Um, I probably should not have attacked with Nexus that turn. Uh, I think sitting, sitting back to block and not take as much damage, because he blocks a 3-3, three, three, right? Uh, blocking and, and not taking as much damage is valuable there. Though they did have a big trampler, so it was something that I would have to deal with. I would probably have to, like, the game would evolve a little bit more. I would necrotic fumes. I ended up having a lot of extra damage, so I didn't need this for damage. Obviously, I didn't know exactly what was going to happen there. But I think I should have set back. So even though it was a... I guess it wasn't that long a game. There were a lot of very interesting decisions in it, and I think I made most of them wrong. So this this Marjorie deck is pretty tough to play. But hopefully, yeah, uh, hopefully it was enjoyable, and hopefully you got to learn some things too about Standard 2022. So if you like these videos and want to support my work a little bit more, make sure to check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash pvadbr. 
And special thank you, well, first this time to Jungly Monkey uh, for you know, being willing to play with me. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, and also to all my biggest supporters, uh, Adam Ramsey, Adrian Camilleri, Foxy, Fernando Vizil, Igor Petrov, Joey, Calvin Pang, Kevin Massey, Lawson, Mattia Giardini, Nate Fenley, uh, Silvia Leticia, uh, TJ Webb, and Thomas Pocorni. I really appreciate the support. Uh, and if you're interested in, you know, doing this sort of thing in the future, make sure to join the Discord server if you are a sub. Uh, there's actually a server for everybody, right? It's an open server and there's a special section for the subs. So I'm just going to leave the link of the server uh, there and you can join if you want and then see what you want to do. Uh, but yeah, and I'll, I'll see you next week. Bye.